Azure fact number 481. 6.65% of the world's top 10,000 websites run on Azure, including my mom's genealogy website, of course. The show this week has hackers, shells, and caches of data. In particular, Azure increases their bounty hunter prize for breaking the cloud platform, new tools and features for the Azure Cloud Shell, and we finally get Redis version 4 on Azure. This is Azure This Week, the outcome of what a thousand squirrels can do with a combined processing power of four kilobytes. Azure is exceptionally secure, no doubt about that. However, to stay secure requires constant attention and meerkat-like behavior. Hmm. Microsoft already has the Azure Bounty Program, which rewards penetration testers, well, hackers, with monetary incentive to find flaws in the platform. As if $40,000 US as a max reward wasn't enough, this week at the Black Hat Conference in Las Vegas, also known as the conference where you never ever turn on your Wi-Fi, Microsoft announced a new $300,000 reward. This new level of cash can only be obtained through the new Azure Security Lab, a sandbox-like environment where invited hackers can go nuts. They can not only attempt to research vulnerabilities, but also exploit them. Yep, they can go full Chuck Norris style and break all the things. The top award is only available through scenario-based challenges, so get hacking, legally, and by invite. But hacking! There are five ways to interact with your resources in Azure. The portal, PowerShell, using the Azure Command Line Interface, or CLI, the Azure API, <laughs> And then finally, the Cloud Shell. If you haven't heard of the Cloud Shell, it is an in-browser command line shell which gives authenticated, secure, and interactive access to your Azure resources. In fact, you can also use the Cloud Shell through your Azure mobile app and the Azure portal. Now, the Cloud Shell has some new and some updated tools for you to play with. The new Azure Function CLI finally gives us the ability to create, test, run, and debug Azure functions in the Cloud Shell. This is very cool and incredibly useful for testing functions quickly. Puppet Bolt is not only an awesome name, but it's also an open source tool to automate the management of your infrastructure. You can now use it to automate tasks that are part of your day-to-day -day workflows or to automate your as-needed tasks. HashiCorp has their Packer tool, which is a tool to automate the creation of a machine image, whether it is a VM, a container, or more from a single configuration source. Updated tools for Cloud Shell included the Java Development Kit, the Azure CLI, and Azure PowerShell. This week, Microsoft announced the Azure Cache uh, will very soon receive an upgrade to Redis version 4.0. This much anticipated update offers the Modules API, first announced at RedisConf in 2016. The Modules system provides an API for extending Redis with dynamically loaded modules primarily written in the language of C. The Modules API provides multiple levels of API for developers to add new features and functionality to Redis. There are also caching improvements, but to be honest, caching is the hardest part of IT, except for naming things, of course. So let's just say caching is now much better. The update will happen automatically, but if for some reason that isn't suitable for your environment, you can also set a manual date and time it will happen. Oh, and the modules API features won't be available yet on Azure, so thanks Microsoft. That was all I could fit into the bite-sized show for you to consume. I hear it goes extremely well with Danish pickled herring. Delicious. As we say on the A Cloud Guru team when the office coffee beans have run out at the most critical time, seek a new show cloud. So come back next week where we have a special episode of the top 50 jokes from the show. So keep being awesome, Cloud Gurus.